everybody. Welcome to the Hacienda Ribbit here. Thanks for joining me again. We're going to throw down something delicious. Uh, but this is not something I've invented, and this is not something that I got out of a recipe book. Actually, I got this off another YouTube channel. Uh, one I ran across uh, and really fell in love with about a month ago, a month and a half ago. It's called Pickles Barbecue. And uh, I'll put the uh, link up at the iCard above and uh, down there in the notes below. And uh, he's, a, he's a new YouTuber. Uh, and I'll tell you what, he throws down some of the most delicious recipes I have ever seen. And those of you who are fans of the uh, slow cooker, or the in Instapot rather, uh, he makes a lot of recipes in the Instapot that actually got me thinking, you know, I may want to buy one. But I'm not committed yet um, go check him out he's uh, only got 500 subscribers he's still new he should have way more than that uh, but I want to get the word out I want people to know so go check out his channel uh, send him some love tell him rivet sent you like and subscribe okay you've got to start following him he deserves the uh, uh, acclaim because he, he really puts down some good food but anyway this is his recipe I'm gonna try to uh, uh, follow it as close as I can. Of course, you know I'm going to put my spin on it, but oh, whatever. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to make um, no need uh, quick yeast bread, uh, but it's going to have an Italian spin on it because it's going to have Italian seasoning. Uh, it's going to have chopped up pepperoncini peppers as well as uh, chopped up pitted Kalamata olives. Okay, and you see how simple the ingredients are: flour, yeast, salt and water and these seasonings uh, so stick with me and I'll show you how it's done alright so we have three cups of that King Arthur all-purpose flour to which we're gonna add one teaspoon each Italian seasoning uh, regular uh, Morton table salt and uh, regular rise uh, Fleischmann's yeast to that we're gonna just incorporate it really well into the uh, flour so it's evenly dispersed and then we'll add the water so uh, join me then now that I've combined everything nicely in here I'm going to add a cup and a half of warm water uh, in this case I tempt it at 120 degrees Fahrenheit uh, you don't want it any warmer than 135 or it'll kill the yeast so let's go ahead and incorporate incorporate that nicely all right, I had to add another cup of water uh, to get the right consistency. Uh, he described it as a shaggy dough, which is pretty good. That's exactly what we want. Okay, so uh, in my recipe, I used two and a half cups of warm water. Uh, now we're going to add the uh, chopped up Kalamata olives and the pepperoncini peppers. Okay, I drained them in a colander first. And now we're going to incorporate that into the dough. All right, so here we are. We got the uh, pepperoncinis and the olives uh, incorporated on there. So what we're going to do uh, is we're going to cover it with a baker's cloth, set it in a warm place until it doubles in size, and in this case I'm going to stick it underneath our wood stove and uh, join me then when it's ready. So what I've done is I've got a Dutch oven that has been preheating in the oven at 450 degrees for about 20 minutes so it's completely hot carefully you want to put the parchment paper in there like that okay now this is beautiful didn't have to knead it didn't have to do anything An hour and a half under the wood stove and boy oh boy already isn't this nice now we're going to cover it Okay, and back in the oven it goes at 450 for 45 minutes to one hour. Join me there. All right, the last 15 minutes of bacon, after one hour with the lid on, took the lid off, uh, 15 more minutes of bacon, uh, there you go. That looks absolutely beautiful. Oh, yes. Oh, my Lord, look at that steaming deliciousness. God, so soft and fluffy in the middle. All right, so, oh, we're going to have to let this cool for a little bit. Join me then. All right, there's some butter. Let's get that 
drizzly, drazzly goodness going on there. And there's a piece with some olives and uh, pepperoncinis, and we're going to drizzle some olive oil on there. And we're going to taste them both. Mmm. Absolutely delicious. Compliments the olive and the bread, but kind of clashes with the uh, pepperoncini. All right, let's try the olive oil. Oh yeah, that's a tie-in. This is what you need to do. Dip this stuff in some extra virgin olive oil, people. Fantasticus. Thanks for watching. Go check out Pickles Barbecue. Like and subscribe. Send send them some love. Tom Rivet sent you. Pickles. Thanks for the recipe, brother. Love you, man. Take care.